There is a tidal wave of U.S. government subsidies around the uh, Inflation Reduction Act, the Climate Le Legislation Act, and all of these have benefited um, EV makers, including um, legacy automakers like Ford. Ford has now since been regarded as an EV maker as well, so it is uh, benefiting from all of these subsidies from the U.S. government. You know, and uh, we also know of late that um, the AI boss has also driven the market, amongst other things, driven the broader uh, equity market up around 30% to see 2023. So all of those things have equally um, favored a uh, fourth stock. You know, so we told you some time ago that around um, there there are there are around 16,000 active uh, stocks in the U.S. and 60% uh, of uh, those stocks will be around 6,400 are trending bullishly, and out of the, after that, out of those 60% uh, in or rather in that 60%, another 60% are likely to uh, another 6% there have um, uh, gained around 5% so far on the average, and they are likely to gain around uh, they usually gain around 30%. So they haven't finished their bull run. And definitely, definitely, Ford is most certainly without any further analysis. Definitely part of that mix, you know. So uh, we can see that as of Thursday, the sixth of July, the, the company reported that um, uh, quarterly sales were up by nine point nine percent versus seventeen point five percent for the industry. So the folks at Morningstar attribute the underperformance to declines from Mustang as well as, as well as from certain crossovers and SUVs such as uh, Explorer, Bronco Sports, Bronco, Mustang, uh, Mark E, and they, they discontinued uh, EcoSports. The new um, Escape did well, rising 28.7%. The full size Expedition and Navigator SUVs rose 52.4% and 20.1% uh, respectively while the F-150 Lightning Electric Vehicle more than doubled deliveries to 4,466. So they expect a continued growth in Ford's all-electric offering from Lightning as well as Mark E. Now that the latter's Mexican plant has been retooled to increase their production, the retooling is already helping. Mark E's June sales rose 110% far outpacing the 21.1% quarterly decline. Ford's uh, press release uh, heavily emphasized its pickup truck outperformance versus uh, GM's full-size and mid-size uh, trucks. But um, the folks at uh, Morningstar we uh, calculate the 3,605 uh, unit beat was due to the Maverick uh, compact pickup, a segment uh, GM does not compete in. F-Series volume rose 34% with the Lightning 2.1% uh, of the F series volume. Half of Lightning buyers are new to Ford's uh, brand, and and Lightning volume rose 4.1% uh, from the first quarter. Lincoln sales uh, fell 15.2%, but Cross Cross Air and uh, Nautilus uh, crossovers uh, June sales filed paced their overall uh, quarterly. Good uh, growth once invent once inventory inventory improved. So the business outlook for Ford is that uh, it's uh, turning itself around by focusing on uh, light truck models in the US, which uh, the folks at Morningstar think is the right move since uh, light trucks are nearly eight percent eighty percent of uh, US industry new light uh, vehicle sales. Ford's uh, challenge is, is is to increase uh, share profitability while ele elevating Lincoln into a global luxury brand. The mostly no mode nature of the auto industry makes uh, these uh, tasks difficult and they see headwinds uh, from areas such as uh, restructuring commodities and exchange while investments in mobility and electrification takes years to bear fruit. So Ford targets a 50% global all electric volume by 2030 and an annual production rate of over 2 million battery vehicles by 2026 so that's really ambitious so Ford is also focusing on um, is also focused on spending on the most profitable vehicles the March 2022 split of combustion and uh, battery electric vehicles into their own segments Ford Blue and Ford Model E allows uh, talent to focus on combustion heats like Bronco and F-Series 
as well as uh, build on the success of the F-150 Lightning battery electric vehicle and uh, Mustang Mach-E. Restructuring remains a constant, uh, while the global re redesign program incurring $9.8 billion in charges and $3.9 billion of cash flow from 2018 to 2022. Ford Blue uh, Six about three billion dollars in cost reductions, and and CEO Jim Farley in February of this year lamented about the firm having too many engineers. Twelve days later, on Ford announced a three thousand eight hundred mostly UK and German um, headcount reduction by twenty twenty five, including two thousand eight hundred pro, uh, product development jobs. While more EVs, with more EVs, Ford does not uh, seem to need uh, the same people they had. So. Given all of that, we have that um, the stock is definitely in a strong bullish trend. You can see that. You can see definitely it is in a strong bullish trend since it started to spike as of the as of the 25th of uh, May 2020. This year, May, just about the month ago, about two months and um, not up to two months ago, it started to extend. You know, at at one point, once it rose above its. Uh, 20 day moving average which is at the primary demand line it has not fallen below that once it rose be above its 50 day moving average it also hasn't fallen above that it has continued to rise and extend it's uh, cooled off got a peak got a resistance around the uh, 12.58 dollars as of uh, the 30 or five days afterwards five days and then got a support corrected for a, a couple of sessions just right on its uh, 50 day moving average, uh, average has and has continued to extend so uh, Ford stock is definitely in a strong bullish trend. It's 200 day moving average, as you can see. That is, um, I don't think it's sloping bullishly upwards, is it? Okay, well, it's slightly sloping upwards, and it's also outperforming the SP 500. But momentum is waning slightly. You can see that here from the 14 period to Lucas Oscillator is waning slightly. Um, this, this, that's just because of this uh, correction it had uh, of late, this correction it had as of. Uh, Started to reach this peak of um, fifteen point three four dollars as of uh, which day was that? Let's see, as of fifth, as of Wednesday the fifth, it um, reached that peak. Yes, when it announced its uh, this this earnings outcomes on Thursday, it corrected. That's what we are looking at right now, and uh, it's in a corrective mode, but it's still in a strong bullish trend. So momentum has waned, but um, buyers are definitely still by far more active than sellers. You know that is most certainly what the case is so on its uh let's look at the daily let's have a look at its uh daily chart and see what the projections are so on its uh, daily chart we have that um fourth stock is uh currently above all of its um the calculations are that it is uh currently above all of its projections above it's uh so it's uh the, the, it has a downward projection of 14.61 so because of that body run uh, maybe the algos are not calculating any for anything further okay so on its daily chart so maybe we can rely on that so let's look at the weekly chart and see what we have yeah you can see on the weekly chart there is something there we have an upper projection of uh 15.67 15.67 .67 is just slightly above where that resistance was so that resistance was around 15.15 i think so uh not so slightly just above it that's where the next upper project upper projection is 15.73 after that we have um 17.01 and then after that we have um 20.74 on this on the weekly chart so there's a good chance there's a good chance that can happen 20.74 on the weekly chart so Let's also look at the monthly chart and see what the projections are. What the projections are saying on the monthly chart. Let's see. Also, the next upper projection. I think it's quite similar. Fifteen points. 15, it's pretty much the same thing. Fifteen point eight five. Pretty much the same. So the next one is uh, nineteen point zero nine, and then the next one is uh, twenty one point four nine. So I would say in in the next one month before, or rather by August, by early. August, there's a good chance uh, Ford stock is going to get into the trading range of between 15.85 and um, 15.85 and 21.61, 15.85 and 21.61. So, 
see what you make of uh, of, of uh, strongly bullish Ford stock. I'm not uh, promoting it, but uh, uh, being a legacy stock and um, having this track record, and um, you might want to have it in your portfolio. You know, but uh, just like every other stock, it's going to uh, retrace at various points. We have actually seen that. We have seen that of late. It was of late in this year. It was actually underperforming. You know, it was actually declining steadily, declining steadily. It was just on the as of the twenty fifth of um, May that it reached the bottom. So expect that to always happen at various points. So see what you make of Ford stock, and thank you very much for watching this video.